Hey, I'm here today to show you about binders, which uh, helps people when they're doing heavy metal detox and parasite cleansing because they bind to the toxins. So if you're doing a heavy metal detox and not using that, then the metal is getting recirculated inside of you, going into different organs. And if you're doing a parasite cleanse, you want to bind to them. You don't want dead parasites hanging around in your body, dumping out metals, and yeah. So this is why it's good to use binders, and I'm gonna show you what binders I have hanging around the house. Here, I have activated charcoal. If you don't know about activated charcoal, I think this is one of my favorite binders because it's good for people when they have like a hangover. It'll help bind to the toxins, and it can support you when you're feeling nasty. You take like half a teaspoon and you know, just get it down. Hmm, hmm, yeah. I don't know why I did that, but. So activated charcoal is charred plant material, usually from coconut shells that have been processed, cooked, and make it this potent binding thingamajig that can support you for heavy metal detox a little bit and overall toxin support. Yeah, chemicals, gas, and bloating. So this is a good one to have around the house. Take it occasionally. And yeah, activated charcoal. And here's another great binder, chlorella. This is mostly used for heavy metal detox because you have a mobilizing agent such as cilantro or something to get the metals out of the organs and then it binds nicely with chlorella and it's very gentle and if you like micronutrient rich algae there we go i'm spilling it so yeah you can add like half a teaspoon to a drink add it to your smoothie nice gentle support mm, chlorella And here we have a uh, bentonite clay, which is a volcanic ash that is really good for metals, parasites, and general gut health um, when you have a pretty clean gut because you don't want to be full of nonsense and taking like massive doses of bentonite clay, which is why you can start with a half teaspoon, see how you feel um, after using a mobilizing agent or killing parasites uh, with like wormwood, turpentine, oregano. This could be a helpful thing to take along with activated charcoal. And yeah, I like it. I did a 15 day cleanse called the Game Changer Cleanse, where for five days we were just taking massive doses of bentonite clay and psyllium husk. And after doing 10 days of enemas, but yeah, we were getting some crazy stuff out people seeing parasites and mucoid plaque it was really interesting so i like to keep bentonite clay around and the last one we have zeolite this one is very in fashion these days uh, because of its cage-like structure i always hear about um, good for binding metals and mold in the gut and some people use this nano spray that they claim gets into the organs to, for safe removal. Um, I'm not so sure about that, but you can investigate it. I've heard good things, and I've also heard that it doesn't work. Anyway, anyways, if you're using zeolite, you can just add it to a drink. Same thing, like half teaspoon to start. Mix it up, drink it, but uh, also good to have a mobilizing agent, such as cilantro and other herbs when doing a metal detox. Um, yeah, cool. Another one that people really like is diatinaceous earth. They use this for heavy metal detox and parasite cleansing. And yeah, same thing, half a teaspoon to start and then do some research on your own about which is best for you. And also I wanna talk about 
ozonated activated charcoal. I met this doctor who was really knowledgeable in the field, and he told me about ozonated activated charcoal, which you get the activated charcoal and then you ozonate it, which makes the surface area like 10 to even more times more effective at binding to things. And if you have access to that, I would check that out. I think I'm gonna order some soon because it sounds cool. Yeah, binders. And in the comments, I'm gonna leave some more information about the binders in case I missed anything. And I'll be coming out with my little guidebook on how to effectively cleanse with all the information and protocols. Coming soon, oh yeah.